Hello, everybody. This is Peter Joseph, August 16th, 2012. I wanted to make a very brief web response to a video that I saw today that someone sent me uh, with a discussion between Alex Jones and Webster Tarpley. Some might, might remember I went on the Alex Jones show after Zeitgeist Addendum, and he was a little less than cordial. So basically you're I told you what they are. They are hereditary yes, kings no, I'm, I'm who learned how to go underground. I'm commenting on this. This is, my, this is why I wanted to ask the question. Well, I thought you were posing it again. You said I go back to my original. No, no, no. Question. I just want to go back and address it because you've 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 gone on a nice tangent, which I appreciate, but uh, you've moved away from what my original response was going to be. Well, it's a complex so world. Takes complex solutions. I'm giving well, you actually course. analyzed information, things that have been thought out. Of course. Well, let's let's, let's not general general ideas. Let me um, let me comment. Don't mind. There is evil, and I will declare abortion evil. I will declare us special. I will declare us a divine species in the image of God, and I will not let the technocrats or anybody else tell me that because I know we're going to the stars, and I know our destiny is great, and I know a little black kid having pesticide tested on until they die is evil. Sure, but that evil has a source, and that's what you fail to realize. And it went on and on. And, you know, I kind of give Alex Jones a pass because I know we can all get frustrated and emotional. But the next day, after having time to premeditate what this interview did, uh, losing lots of fans and getting tons of criticism, I know for a fact, he goes on the air and rather than try to, re you know, redeem himself, he went absolutely apeshit and decided that the entire movement in the films was a New World Order, Illuminati, religious thing, and he basically planted the seeds for a lot of very superstitious propaganda. And it is pure Illuminati, New World Order, 110%. God, spirit, the whole thing is religious. It is religious. They believe it's a reincarnation sun group, sun cult. It's... These are Lucifer worshippers. Nevertheless, in 2011, he invited me back on his show, believe it or not, and I said, okay, I'm happy to go on, Alex, but you have to retract some of the insane statements you made about myself in the movement. I sent him an email with the details. He never responded. I never went on his show. And so it went. And again, I don't think much of it. I have better things to do. But since that time, Alex takes his jabs at the movement in a very dishonest way, and I was sent an August 15th upload of Alex Jones speaking with Webster Tarpley. And poor Tarpley knows nothing about the movement and just follows Alex Jones's lead uh, with its little bashing and, and erroneous projections, prima facie associations. But I've reached a point of impatience with Jones that I will counter this, just like I've started to counter many different arguments against the movement. But I will say off the cuff that I think Webster Tarpley is a victim here, and I'm going to try and bring him on my radio show if I can. He's unfortunately very busy. Uh, I don't agree with Tarpley in a lot of ways, but I think his broad economic views are spot on, even though these guys have no solutions and they never will within their in-the-box thinking. But this is about Alex. So here are some segments of the August 15th upload from the Alex Jones Nightly News. Fair. And you mentioned Zeitgeist, and I said, what is your view of Zeitgeist? Because I get calls all the time saying, Zeitgeist, Zeitgeist. has been seen 50 million times or so. He put me in the first film, put you in the first film. They talk about a yeah. master planning computer. We live in these plastic cities. The head of it told me, he said, if I didn't agree with what they wanted, I would be put in re-education. You know, I want to give credit where credit is due because I used to think Bill O'Reilly was really good at spin and conflation and the distortion of truth, but Alex puts the guy to shame. As far as his conflation of the first film extending to the other two and three, apparently the only thing he can think about when it comes to the scientific method applied to society is plastic houses, completely missing the point once again. However, the main thing here is the final statement where he says that I told him that he would need to be reconditioned if he didn't want to be in the society. And that's one of the most dishonest things I've heard Alex Jones say. And believe me, he says a lot of dishonest things. So let's go back and quickly review what I actually said, since he has been using this line for about three years now in his debasement of myself in the movement. Okay, well, I can only continue to reiterate my central point, which I don't think has been fully absorbed. And I think everyone listening should seriously consider that human conditioning is the central point. If you took somebody right now and froze them in ice, and you had them rethought out and rejuvenated a thousand years from now in, a, in say, a resource-based economy, they would, be, they would be completely obsolete. They would not know what to do. Their value systems would be, their conditioning would be absolutely obtuse. 
and then something would have to happen. This is a value system issue. What would have to happen? Something would have to happen where the person would be reconditioned in some way. It's, that's it's the point. Re-educated? The, the point is the value systems are too different. I've heard all so this before. To, that's the problem, Peter Jones. So that very obvious example of taking, say, a caveman from thousands of years ago and thawing them out in modern day today, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see how difficult the conditioning, the reconditioning of that individual would be to bring them to a level where they can understand the society. There's a literacy element, and that's what education is. But, of course, Alex and his grand dementia turned it into this. The head of it told me, he said, if I didn't agree with what they wanted, I would be put in re-education. But then again, it's also not without a vindictive pathology once again, as he restates the fact that he did invite me back on the show, and here's what he had to say. Here's the deal. I invited Peter Joseph as stage name or whatever on like a year ago. I said, look, we fought five, six years ago. I want to have you back on. And he said, fine, but you must renounce that I ever said you were going to go to a re-education camp. Or, or that I would be re-educated, and, and he sent me the video, and I went and looked at him like, I, he says on the video that, but I was like, he was like, no, I didn't, you must renounce it. And I was like, well, fine, you're all-powerful, you know, and everything, I, I, I will not renounce it, I will not, I'm a heretic. But uh, he did say that. For those that aren't aware of what cognitive pathology is, and it's very easy to confuse it with just someone being, well, a dick, Cognitive pathology has to do when people lack a certain perception and they're constantly cloaking their views with their own presuppositions and they can't break out of it. I could be wrong, he might have just extremely dishonest ulterior motives, but everything about his personality screams cognitive pathology. Now, I'm not going to go into uh, the stuff stated by Webster Tarpley where he chastises my first film, which again has nothing to do with the Zeitgeist movement. Uh, for being atheistic and then 9-11 truth and mixing the two is a big problem when, of course, comparative religion uh, doesn't imply atheism for one. And 9-11 truth was actually never the point of Zeitgeist, the movie one. It was about the documentary of it and the context, the broad social fallacies that exist in society. And then Alex continues his comedy routine. Yeah. We're all going to live in the plastic city where a computer programmed by Goldman Sachs, but they don't mention that, will uh, tell us what we get. Anyway, I'm sure we can expect more comic relief from Alex in the future. I will say that I'm willing to go back on his show. You know, I might have my problems with him. I might very honestly think he needs some serious psychiatric help. But if he is indeed able to scrounge up some integrity with respect to this blatant dishonesty and malicious intent towards myself and the movement and retract those statements I pointed out, then that would be great. However, that's not going to happen. Alex Jones has built a multi-million dollar delusional empire based on fear. So for those out there that follow Alex, ask yourself one question. What solution is he actually offering you? And as a closing point, you know, if you guys want to see solutions in this world that's falling apart, I strongly suggest you think outside of the box. People like Alex Jones, 100% establishment, absolutely no different in form and communication in the broad scheme as Bill O'Reilly, Sean Hannity, or Glenn Beck or Rush Limbaugh. These dinosaurs of thought have nothing to offer you. If you want to change the world, it's going to be very uncomfortable. So I strongly suggest those take an honest look at the Zeitgeist movement, put aside all of the surface criticisms and propaganda that you see online, and actually digest it for yourself with detached logic and reason. That's all that we ask. My name is Peter Joseph. Thank you very much.